What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, y'all being that fan. I'm back again with another YouTube video. Today, I'm reacting to most shocking K pop news every year from 2011 to 2021. Let's waste no time. Let's get straight into it. Make sure you like, comment, sub, turn on post notifications so you never miss a YouTube video. Y'all ready? If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I react to anything and everything K pop to hip hop to rock star music anything so let me know what you want to see on my channel and i react to it but yeah man y'all been telling me to check this out for a long time so that's what i'm about to do accusations against a pop star has pushed china's me too movement back into the spotlight the K-pop world doesn't give us any time to breathe, and that's why it only seems fair to us to go down memory lane and take a look at the most shocking and controversial news from the last decade. 2011. Let's start off with something really big. This may not be a secret relationship or marriage, but it's definitely the scandal that brought terrible consequences. On the morning of May 31st, Big Bang's Day Song was investigated by the police for his involvement in a car accident, which resulted in the of a motorcyclist. Although both parties reached a settlement, this wasn't something that money could fix. Taeyeon was also a hot topic in 2011, but not for the reasons you might think. During a performance of Run Devil Run, a male audience member snuck in from the back and grabbed Taeyeon's wrist, attempting to pull her away. The SNSD members were- Wait, what? What? Nah. 11, but not for the reasons you might think. During a performance of Run Double Run, a male audience member snuck in from the back and grabbed Taeyeon's wrist, attempting to pull her away. The SNSD members were understandably shocked, and it made one of the biggest headlines that year. Just imagine how confused and scared Taeyeon must have been after that experience. 2012. Scandals of bad behavior between members are not uncommon, but Kiata's case is one of a kind. Right before a show, one of the members, Hwayoung, was seen with a cast on her leg on the airport pictures, but photographers and fans that were present claimed that Huayang was walking normally until they started taking pictures. This isn't even the weirdest part of it, trust me. After the show ended, Huayang's sister made a vague tweet that said that her sister was suffering. This is when the rumors of the other members mistreating started. Even though all of them were debunked, the fall of Tiara seemed to happen overnight. Seeing the damage she had caused, Huayang tweeted that everything was all a big misunderstanding, but even with her, Tiara and the company clarifying everything, the public had made up its mind that Huayang was innocent. It wasn't until six years later that the truth got revealed, and although everyone pretended to be shocked, she wasn't the victim. A staff member apparently got fed up with her playing the victim and posted receipts of Hua Young mistreating one of the members. And the injured leg thing at the airport? Also fake. She was that dedicated to her act. The turn of events was the plot twist of the century, if you ask me. 2013. Online media outlets like All K-Pop and Korea Boo have been called out for crossing the line a lot, but this instance alone was definitely the worst one. In November 2013, all K-pop shared an article in which they claimed that the singer Ailey is the woman in some explicit pictures that were being shared on anonymous forums. People also started suspecting that her ex-boyfriend was the one who leaked those pictures, and they were right because Dispatch released a phone call where he tried to sell them. This wasn't even the most shocking thing that happened in 2013. On May 21st, the police found the lifeless body of G.O.D. member Son Ho Young's girlfriend in a car that was registered to him. He was initially brought in as a suspect, but the case was later ruled as a where the ex-girlfriend cited him as the reason for what she did. This sent Ho Young into a spiral and he tried to end his in the same way. He's safe and healthy now, but this was really tragic. 2014. What? Suicide is not the answer, but let me rewind that because where the ex-girlfriend cited him as the reason for what she did. This sent Ho Young into a spiral and he tried to end his in the same way. He's safe and healthy now, but this was really tragic. 2014. 2014 was really packed when it came to scandals. The year started with relationships getting exposed left and right, but that wasn't all. Dahi, member of former Big Hit- I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Yo, they are human beings. They could date whoever they want to. Like, come on, y'all gotta chill with that. Like, that's one thing I don't understand, this dating. Like, they could date whoever they want to. It's their life. Come on, now y'all gotta do better, man. It's about to be 2022. Let them date whoever. Project. 
2014. 2014 was really packed when it came to scandals. The year started with relationships getting exposed left and right, but that wasn't all. Dahi, member of former big hit group Glam, and model Lee ji were accused of blackmailing actor Lee byung -hyun. Dahi and ji apparently threatened byung -hyun with a compromising video, saying that they would make it public unless he gave them $4.4 million. Of course, they ended up serving prison time. That wasn't all, folks. Pak Bum was accused of smuggling illegal substances into the country, and it greatly affected her career. But this was just another Another case of women getting backlash for basically nothing because it was explained that the quote unquote illegal substances were prescribed ADHD medicine that wasn't legal in Korea. The case was dismissed, but netizens still didn't leave her alone. The news of Jessica leaving SNSD made headlines in September, and it's a topic that gets discussed even today. For younger K pop fans, imagine if Nayeon was kicked out of Twice or Lisa got kicked out of Blackpink. Her departure raised the usual did she leave or was she forced to leave question, but I guess we'll never know the truth. I hope Jessica releases another book explaining. It. On a darker note, September 2014 also marks the month where the Ladies Code members had a fatal car crash in which Unbi and Lise passed away and the other members suffered serious injuries. Who? Oh? Members had a fatal car crash in which Unbi and Lise passed away and the other members suffered serious injuries. It was a shocking event and I hope Unbi and Lise rest in peace and that the other members, family and friends can find comfort too. 2015. Are they still a K-pop group today? Let me know. Team. The whirl of scandals in the K-pop industry didn't spare IU either because she was accused of utilizing a character from a children's book in her song Zeze. The controversy began when a publishing company accused IU's portraying of the character as a object. IU apologized by saying it was not her intention, but she understood why others were offended. The company apologized themselves and this ended the whole ordeal, though many are still wondering what the true meaning of the song was. SM didn't have a good year as Tao and Suli both decided to leave their groups. Suli had been on hiatus from FX activities since 2014. 14 and decided to leave the group to focus on her acting career, but Tao took the phrase go big or go home too seriously because he decided to do both. According to Tao's father, the reason he left was because SM put his well-being at risk and they later filed a lawsuit against the company just like Chris Wu and Luhan. Tao's lawsuit was the first case from EXO's Chinese line that SM won. His contract with SM remains valid until 2022. 2016. K-pop stands suffered the loss of both 21 and 4 minute in the span of a year. After Puck Bum scandal and Minzy departure, 21's reputation and future was hanging on a thread. It all ended when YG officially announced that the group had disbanded. Not that it wasn't expected, but we were allowed to be sad and we still are. Four Minutes disbandment was completely different. Because if Cube said that it was happening due to the members having other plans for the future, anyone knew it was because of Cube focusing on Hyuna's solo career more than the group. 2017. Whether 2017 was good for K-pop groups or not, it ended in the worst way possible. On December 18th, Chinese Kim jong hyun was found unconscious in his own home and passed away at the age of 27. It was he was talented, bro. He was talented, bro. If y'all haven't seen my reaction videos to bro, woo, check out my shiny playlist, man. This was sad, bro. He was talented, bro. It was later revealed that he committed his sudden passing left people devastated, but everyone was dealt a gut-wrenching blow when his last note was posted to the public by a close friend. The note read, I'm broken from the inside. The depression that has slowly eaten away at me has finally consumed me and I couldn't beat it. Definitely one of the most heartbreaking moments in the history of K-pop. 2018. If there's one person that deserves to rot in jail for all eternity, it's Guada's ex-boyfriend. After a fight where he caused her physical damage, he blackmailed her and said that he'll ruin her life and career by threatening to send a 30-second clip of their private tape to dispatch. Guada gave a statement saying, I acknowledge the wounds that I've given him, but what about this other wound that he's given me? She later sued him for coercion and blackmail and fought like a true warrior. We can't forget the dating news that made our jaws drop. After rumors started circulating of Hyuna and Don dating, everyone was left speechless. Cube denied every Thing, but Hyanna had other plans as she came out saying that they'd been dating for a while back then. This resulted in them both getting kicked out of the company, but Cube's stock literally plummeted after they left, while Hyanna and Don had no trouble signing with another agency, and now they're thriving. 2019. What began as a police investigation into a nightclub quickly spiraled into something much bigger, and the names of the people being involved shocked the public more than anything. After the initial investigation, various allegations of disgusting things happening came forward. Why this case received so much media attention was it made it to CNN this must have been big CNN what 
because of the people involved, which were Big Bang Sungri, Jung Joo Young, FT Island's Choi Jung Un, and many others. Joo Young and Jung Un were sentenced to six years in prison, and Sung Di was sentenced to three. Although the years they'll spend in prison don't compare to the horrible crimes they committed, let's hope that the victims find peace and justice being served. The sad things that the industry faced in 2019 unfortunately don't end there. Former FX member Su Lee's lifeless body was found in her home by her manager. She had been the target of malicious comments from netizens since she debuted, and many consider them to be one of the reasons that Su Lee decided to say goodbye. But people didn't have the time to grieve her properly because not even a month later, her best friend Guada passed away too. Their passing shed a light on the huge amount of pressure put on K-pop stars and the lack of mental health support. They will always be missed. 2020. One of the biggest and shocking controversies in the K-pop industry in 2020 was that of AOA's Jimin who had mistreated her former bandmate Mina for nearly a decade. Mina shared multiple posts on Instagram. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa about how Jimin tormented her when they were bandmates until she eventually left the group in 2018, causing her mental health to deteriorate and driving her to self-harm. Jimin first called her claims fictitious, but later apologized and left the group in July 2020. She's been laying low ever since. 2021. Accusations of inappropriate behavior of idols from when they were younger seem to have been the wave this year because I couldn't start the day without a new one coming out. From Luna's Chu to Stray Kids Hyunjin and idol Sujin, nobody seems safe from these rumors. But as it always is with rumors popping up just as idols are at the peak of their careers, most, if not all of them, were proven to be false. But despite all this, Hyunjin and Sujin still suffer the consequences, with Sujin getting the short end of the stick. Hyunjin was put on hiatus, but eventually returned, but but Sujin got kicked out of Idol, with Cube claiming that she left on her own, as if anyone would believe that. NCT's Lucas was swept up in some rumors of his own, as he was accused by multiple women for gaslighting them during the time they were dating. SM Entertainment and Lucas released their statements and announced Lucas would halt future activities for the time being. Closing this video with the worst and heaviest scandal of the year so far. On July 19th, former EXO member Chris Wu was accused and arrested for harming and using multiple women, some still being minors. The first accusation came in early July, when a 19-year-old girl said that he he had harmed her while she was drunk. More than 20 women have since come forward alleging inappropriate behavior. Chris has denied all allegations, but he got arrested and the investigation is still ongoing, although it looks like he's going to spend a major portion of his life in prison. I hope you like- Wait, 19 years old is a minor in Korea? What? Wow, 19, you're a minor? Nah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. Korea got some crazy rules up there. I ain't gonna lie. 19? I don't know about that, man. Minor? 19? That's not a minor. That's a grown woman. Grown woman. Grown woman. And if y'all don't know, in the United States, you have to be 18 and older. Once you 18, you are a adult. Once you 18, you are a adult. Let me repeat that one more time. When you turn 18 in the United States of America, you are a adult. You're no longer a minor. But yeah, man, a lot of crazy things happen. A lot of crazy things, man. A lot, man. Ooh, I learned a lot, but one thing, actually two things I'm confused on was the minor part in a K-pop dating rumors. Like, they can't date? Like, come on now. Like, that's crazy to me. But yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you want to see next in the comment section below. And I got you as soon as possible. It's your boy, Yappy Enough here. Make sure you like, comment, sub, turn on post notifications so you never miss a YouTube video.